I often think that living in community would be a lot easier if it weren't for all the other people. But God saw fit to have us in fellowship as sinful human beings with other sinful human beings. And when that's your recipe, you're bound to encounter conflict. In fact, scripture says that conflict is necessary in order to pursue unity and be effective in the kingdom of God. Colossians 3.13 commands us to bear with each other and forgive one another if anyone has a grievance against someone. So how do we bear with each other and enter into conflict in a way that doesn't end up causing deep fractures in our families and churches? The two essential ingredients we need in every conflict situation are humility and love. I need humility to acknowledge my own sinfulness and my limited perspective. I also need love to go to my brother or sister and sort it out. Do you have any unresolved conflict with a brother or sister in Christ? If you do, I challenge you to address that conflict this week by using the acronym BEAR. It stands for stating their behavior, your emotion, your assumption, and then a response question. It could go something like this. Hey, brother, I've noticed that whenever we're hanging out, you spend a lot of time on your phone. I've been feeling irritated because it seems like you'd rather be somewhere else than hanging out with me. Can you help me understand where you're coming from or if I'm misinterpreting anything? It can be as simple as that. And if you come with a heart to forgive, that conversation will be very effective. And I pray that you experience richer community and deeper fellowship among the body of Christ as you bear with each other in love.